uh, book distribution party, which you might have seen some clips on, on Back to Bhakti. I think most of you have seen something or other. Yes. Over here in the, okay. So I'll try to share some of the things that went on there. The, what impressed me a lot was that uh, the girls who, they usually didn't live together. They were from different parts of the country, and they just saw each other here and there at festivals. But it was a tremendous family spirit and a great amount of harmony. When I watched them uh, running around for the different parts of the program, just like little parts of Shogude, it was so um, heart-rendering. Like, for example, when they were all getting ready for to go out on Sankirtan, uh, all taking their different parts, uh, sometimes by very little discussion, sometimes almost automatically just doing their parts without overlapping the other parts. The, other, the only time there was an overlap was when it was, I want to make uh, breakfast. No, I want to make breakfast. Fighting for services, which reminded me of uh, Shiva Gurudev speaking about his Guru Maharaj and one of his Guru Maharaj's younger god brothers. And uh, there was some big bag of some kind of boulder that needed to be carried. And they were fighting over who was going to carry it. And the younger god brother said, well, I'm younger, so I should be the servant and I should carry it. And then Param Gurudev said, no, I'm older, I'm a senior devotee, so I should carry it because it's a senior devotee job. So in this way, uh, what Shua Prabhupada called transcendental competition, which reminded me of, in 1967, uh, I was painting for Shua Prabhupada in the New York City Temple, 26 Second Avenue. And when Prabhupada came back from San Francisco, which was the second temple he opened after New York, he brought back Govinda Dasi and Gorsundar, a household couple who were number one acting as his personal servants and two also doing artwork for him. They were doing a, a, a children's picture book of the story of Prahlad Maharaj and she had also done the same paintings that I had done for New York when Prabhupada was there, like he would give me this this size picture of Mahaprabhu Sankirtan and I would weep and tell me to paint that in a big canvas. So he did the same thing for her in San Francisco. So when they came to New York, uh, she and me and Prabhupada were standing in his quarters. Uh, which is behind the New York Temple. I don't know if any of you have ever visited that. And Prabhupada told me in Kovindadasi that you should have a transcendental competition. That means just like Krishna and Radha and the gopis. When Radharani would see Krishna smiling, she would become so happy that he was happy that she would smile even more. She enjoyed more happiness than him at his happiness. And then when the gopis would see that Radharani was happy, smiling, they would smile even more. And then when Krishna saw the gopis, they would smile even more. And this way, everything increased unlimitedly. So that kind of competition as opposed to the envious kind. So when I was watching the Gaudiya girls, it reminded me of all those wonderful things. And another